I'm surprised nobody's ever tried to cancel Lividity yet. Nah, you can't do it. I, I think they're too underground, maybe. Not even that, I don't think they care. Yeah, that's true You can't too. cancel someone who doesn't care. Welcome to another episode from Takedowns to Breakdowns with a &P. Today we're here to do Lividity Name Game Fact or Fiction. Yeah. Uh, I took it upon myself to get 10 either an album or song names that are very lividity s you know? Yeah, and you mix them up with some with actual, actual lividity. lividity? Yeah. Okay. So I have 10, 10 names here. So I have to say this is lividity or this is not lividity? And after, yeah, and after you guess, I'll tell you if you're right. right or wrong. All right. This okay. is going to be difficult because if you guys don't know the band, their names are very risque. Yeah. They're very out you'll know, there. When the name, I'm calling up the names, you'll know. It's very out there. So they're very aggressive. They're very punchy, if you will. They don't hold back. They're definitely not politically correct. I just want to make sure. This is not safe for children. Yeah, this is not a safe space right now. Yeah, this is not a safe space right now. So, all right, hit me up. Okay, atomic fetal tissue. Ooh, fuck. That actually sounds like a lividity track. I'm going to say it's not lividity. You are right. It is my own name. <laughs> you actually came up with I that? I created that one. Fuck, that, but that sounded like a lividity song for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next. Uh, Pussy Lover Salvation. Oh, that is definitely lividity. Yep. So, I'm two, I'm two for all. Yeah, yeah. Um, raped by an elephant, raped by elephants. No, that's not lividity. You're right. It's a torso fuck. That's actually the name of a song? Yeah. And that's actually the name of the band? Torso fuck, yeah. <laughs> All right. I actually thought you made that up. We gotta up. check out some torso fuck. Yeah, I definitely gotta get into that. But, you know, uh, I honestly thought you just made that one up. I just made up. that one up? Yeah. I would have been a cool one to make up. All right. Uh, Lord Abortion. Lord Abortion? Lividity. Cradle of Filth. Wow. All right, all right, all right. Um, sword of Sodomy. Sword of Sodomy. Oh, that's Lividity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Lividity. Wow, you're two for two. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm three and one. I got three right and one wrong. I only got the Cradle of Filth wrong so far. Oh, uh, that's true, that's true. Um, uh, Rectal Wench. Rectal Wench. It's, it almost sounds like a Nailstorm song, to be honest with you. It does. It, it sounds something that they would do, or at least something that they would talk about on their WhatsApp. But I'm going to go with, uh, with Lividity. You're right. You're yeah. right. Okay. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer's Cookbook. <laughs> That's a great one. That's a fucking great one. Uh, I'm gonna say it's not Lividity. No, it's just a made-up one. Really? Yeah. Fuck, that's a great one. I fucking love that one. Holy shit, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I love that. That's 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 one of the best ones so far. Uh, fisting the dead. Wow, fisting the dead. Ah, uh, damn it, fisting the dead. I'm gonna say it's not Lividity. No, it's from Blood Duster. Wow, but that's a great title though. Great. Title. And actually, the name of the album. What's the name of the album? Fisting the Dead. Oh, that's actually the name that's of the album? That's the name of their album, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. Um, I think this is... Oh, no, no, no. This is not the last one. O uh, oozing Vaginal Discharge. <laughs> uh, lividity. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a Lividity song. And this is the last one. Orgasmic Flesh Feed. Uh, orgasmic Flesh Feed. I'm going to say that's not Lividity. It is Lividity. That is Lividity as that well? That is Lividity. Oh, fuck. I've never heard that one. So, yeah, that was my, that was my 10. So, I, I got two wrong. You're too wrong, yeah. I got the last one and I got the Cradle of Filth. I think I did pretty good. I was 8 for 10. I actually thought you would get the Cradle of Filth one. Fuck, that one kind of... It kind of came off of left field. Yeah. It, honestly, I wasn't expecting you to throw the a The Jeffrey Dahmer's cookbook. The Jeffrey Dahmer's cookbook is absolutely amazeballs. I, I can't believe they, they haven't thought about that for a song title. So, I, I'm just happy that I got 8 out of 10. I didn't think I was going to get five. Yeah. It's really hard. Like, their songs are so out there as far as the titles. And you could and just make up content. whatever you want that has the same theme as their songs. And that could be a Lividity song. And that could be a Lividity song, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, there, there's such a, a crazy band when it comes... I mean, when it comes to everything. When it comes to the covers of the albums. When it comes yeah. to the song titles. When it comes to the titles of the albums. The lyrical content. The songs themselves. Like Sometimes it's not even the songs. Like, the opener... Of the songs. Just like the intro. The intro of the song, yeah. It, it, just that alone will get you going. I could have gotten with 20, but I had to like push it into 10. You had to narrow it down. I had to narrow it down. 20 would have been too long. I had to go with 10. I'm surprised nobody's ever tried to cancel Lividity yet. Nah, you can't do it. I, I think they're too underground, maybe. Not even that. I don't think they care. 
Yeah, that's true. You can't too. cancel someone who doesn't care. I mean, when you look at the names of their songs and their album titles, I don't think they really give a shit about what people think about it. I, I think they're super creative. They push the balance and they, and they push that line. Well, actually, there's no line. They just completely remove the line and they just say whatever and and go with whatever feels right. But but I think it's at the, at the same time in in the core of what they do, it's really what metal is all about. Was it which is to push people's buttons? Yeah. And if you're one of those super triggered people, listening to Lividity is definitely not for you because there's there's not even microaggressions. There's just aggressions but all around. You it's know? not even my type of band that I listen to, but somehow they have a they have a place in my heart. I like their music not necessarily because I'm a huge fan of brutal death metal, but because I I get a kick. Listening to their to songs their, and their the music, lyrics, yeah. I, I just enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, it gets me laughing. I know they don't take themselves seriously, obviously, based on on what they're talking about and and, and the lyrical content of their songs and the, and the song titles. So I don't, they don't take themselves seriously. So it's it's a laugh. It's a joke, and I'm I'm totally cool with that, and I'm totally okay with that. It doesn't bother me one bit. I, I just find it like absolutely hilarious the shit that they come up with. And, yeah, and and they throw out there. There's there's no song title or there's no subject. That is taboo for lividity. I, I think actually the more of the taboo, the more they're gonna go the get into it. Yeah, the the, the more they're gonna go and uh, and absolutely destroy it, obliterate it, if you will. Well, this was fun. Yeah. So short it, little game. The, yeah, short little game, short little video for this Wednesday. And if you guys never check out lividity, go check them out. Uh, unless you're like I said, unless you're totally politically correct or super woke, then it's definitely not. Then it's not for you. Not then go listen to some Sarah McLaughlin or or whatever the fuck floats your boat. But definitely not lividity. You, you're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? But it is for us. We enjoyed it and we wanted to do a fun game with these song titles. Because on our own channel, when we do our own videos, sometimes in between takes, we, we do talk about funny titles that we come up with. Yeah. And if we had a band, what would the name of the band be? I and feel like our name of the band would be funny, but I feel like every single song had to have an out there name. Once again, I think if we were going to go down that line, we would be very much of a spin-off of what oh, Lividity. Of Lividity. Maybe not sound-wise, maybe not in terms of the genre, no, but, but definitely in terms of the theme. Yeah. We, we would we would be down that road right behind them on a tour with Anal Nathrak. Yeah. And Dying Fetus. That yeah. would be... Eh, maybe not Dying Maybe Fetus. not Dying Fetus. All right. On that note, guys, we'll see you at the next video. See ya.